Hello and welcome dear traders and investors. I'm glad to present you the daily market review prepared by analyst and expert from apex.co portal. Here we go. Today is December 11 and we're starting with a draw of pivot points on main majors. EURUSD and GBPUSD. The trading plans presented by Evangelos Polakis. Bears executed a sufficiently productive decrease and tested the weekly supports at 1.0762, 1.0765 last week. To maintain the momentum, it's now important to confirm the elimination of the daily death cross and overcome the weekly supports. The next downward targets in this case will be the daily cloud 1.0697 and 1.0620. Rainfall slightly below the monthly medium term, 1.0577. Changing priorities and restoring bullish potentials will primarily shift attention on resistance concentrations. The daily Ichimoku cross, 1.0795, 1.0800, one point zero eight seventy one and one point zero eight eighty and the intersections of weekly and monthly levels one point zero eight twenty three and one point zero eight sixty three on lower time frames bears maintain their advantage. They fully work out the downward target on the breakdown of the H4 cloud. Continuing the decline. A corrective rise is now observed. Testing the central pivot point of the day, 1.0763. The most significant event will be overcoming the resistance of the weekly long-term trend. 1.0798 The breakout and reversal of the moving average can change the current balance of power. Additional intraday targets today may be resistance 1.0840 and 1.0878 and supports 1.0724 1.0686 and 1.0647 of the classic pivot points. Last week saw a rebound from the final level of the weekly death cross. 1.2719 Confirmation and development of these movements will lead the pair to test a white zone that combines many significant levels for the segment. Here are the final levels of the daily cross. 1.2458 1.2395 The upper boundary of the daily cloud. 1.2390 And weekly supports. 1.2458, 24.51, and 24.00. The current support is provided by the daily Fibonacci King June. 1.2523. In the case of bullish activity, the pound expects intersection with a range of 1.2588 and 1.2616. Bears have the main advantage on the lower time frames. As the pair trades in the bearish zone relative to the weekly long-term trend, 1.2593. Nevertheless, at the moment, the emergence and development of the corrective rise are observed. The breakout and reversal of the moving average can change the current balance of power, with intraday bullish targets 
at 1.2647 and 1.2695. In the case of the development of a downward trend, attention will be on the supports of classic pivot points. 1.2497 1.2449 and 1.2394. Here is Laurie Bailey with USD JPY currency pair forecast. Let's have a look. The pair's corrective rise from the December 7th low amounted at 390 pips reaching 38% Fibonacci retracement level this morning. It's possible that the correction has ended here. And now, the price will try to overcome the low with 140.35, the September 2022 low, as the target level very close to price channel line. If the price still has strength for growth, it may turn the other way from the nearest resistance at 146.24. The downtrend remains intact. On the 4-hour chart, a sign of the price reversal is when the Marlin Oscillator signal line returns to the negative territory. Which would be a false breakout to the upside. It's possible to overcome the resistance at 146.24 due to the proximity of the MACD line. Creating a magnetic point at that level. Consolidating below 145.08 paves the way for the pair to reach the first bearish target at 143.90, August 3 high. What about cross-currency pairs? For example, CAD, JPY. Area of Mockmore describes. Based on what can be seen on the daily chart, the CAD, JPY commodity currency pair appears to be in the weakening condition, which is confirmed by the price movements. The golden cross of Tenkan Sen with Kinjun Sen and Chico span are all below Kumo and future Kumo, which shows a weakening condition, coupled with confirmation of the CCI, which managed to break below its three main levels, 100, 0 and minus 100, and is now stuck at the minus 100 and 0 level area. This indicates that in the next few days, CAD JPY has the potential to weaken to level 104.21. But if there is a strengthening correction until it passes level 108.36, the weakening that occurs can cancel itself. That's all for today, see you online soon and good luck!